Hi guys, Miss K here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this nude short stiletto set with this cute barbed wire nail art on it. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching this video. Alright, so we're hopping right in with the straight edge nail clippers and I'm going to be cutting the sides of the tips that I applied to her nails. Um, I've already done my prep and everything outside of um, the products. <laughs> But we're going to be cutting the sides of the nails because this helps to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Minimize the amount of filing that we have to do in order to shape the nails into the stiletto shape that she wants. She is a nurse, so she wanted to make sure that her nails were a little bit on the shorter side. But she still wanted them pointy because her birthday's coming up. And she still wants them cute because... You know, just because you're a nurse doesn't mean that you can't have cute nails. <laughs> so I just clip the sides of all of them. Not in a direct point because we're going to go in with the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick File. And this one is in 100 grit. I like to use the 100 grit for any shaping. It just really helps um, minimize the amount of time that I have to spend doing it. So I do that, get it to a nice crisp point, and then that's that. After I file all of her nails, I'm going to flip her hand around and look at it from that direction also because I always like to make sure that it looks good from my client's point of view as well, not just from my angle. So in this video, I left everything in real time. So you guys can see exactly how long it takes me to do everything. The filing process really takes basically no time at all here in the beginning. But I like to make sure that I get it about 95% mm, as perfect as I can. So that way when I go back in, in the very end, I don't have a whole lot of filing to do then. So I do the same thing to all 10 of the nails. Then I'm going to flip her hand around after this and file it from her direction and then I'll be back with you guys. As you can see while I'm filing the nails, I like to go from one side to the other. And just kind of go back and forth so that way the nail isn't leaning more to the left or more to the right. Um, this kind of helps keep it very centered and straight in my opinion this is how I like to do it to make sure that I get that nice crisp shape if you guys would like to see how I prep the natural nail then I have it in a bunch of other videos so you can check out any of my other videos and it'll be on there all right so once the nails are the shape that I like them and that she likes them I'm going in with the Mia Secret Nail Prep. This is a dehydrator and I'm going to use that on the natural nail, not on the tip, just on her natural nail in order to take any oils away. Then I'm using the Mia Secret Extra Bond Primer and I use this to prime the nails so that we can make sure that the acrylic stays on. And then after I use this primer, I'm also going to go in with Young Nails Protein Bond and do the same process. I'm going to apply this to all 10 of her nails and then we'll get into the application portion. Okay, so first things first, I'm going in with Mia Secrets Clear Acrylic Powder, and I'm going to be applying a thin layer of this on all of her nails. I like to do this so that way when she comes back in for a fill or a backfill, then I can just file it down to that clear layer and not have to worry about damaging her natural nail. 
So I'm doing this and then I'm going to do this to all 10 of her nails and then I will go in with the colored acrylic that we're using. So as you can see, I'm really just getting a tiny little bead then I push it up into the cuticle area and wipe it down the length of the nail. And it's honestly the smallest little bead and I like how it looks after I apply this clear little bead to all of the nails. I think it gives it a nice, smooth foundation. Okay, so now that we're done with the clear layer, we're gonna go in with the nude acrylic. And the one that I'm using is a custom acrylic that I had mixed. Um, I do plan on doing a video on this. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to create your own custom acrylic mixes and powders, um, glitters, all of that, then I will be posting that video, so make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you'll see that sometime in the future. Not really sure when, because <laughs> I have actually a lot of videos lined up after this one. Um, but if you guys would like to see that, then be sure to subscribe. But what I'm doing here is I'm just applying this nude acrylic as my base color. And I'm going to be pushing that up into the cuticle area and then wiping it down the length of the nail. And if you guys have seen any of my other videos, then you already know that I don't really have a one bead, two bead, three bead method. I just have a whatever works for me method. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, my beads be too runny. So I really just be trying to work with it, you know. It's all trial and error. We're all still learning. Well, at least I'm still learning. You might be a professional, but I'm technically I'm a professional, but I'm still learning too. <laughs> so I'm just applying this to her nail and I left all of this in real speed. I didn't fast forward through any of it. So that way you guys could see exactly how long it actually is taking me to do the acrylic process. But this overall set took me only two hours, which I think is pretty good. I mean, I used to take four hours to do a set like this. So it took me two hours. So I'm taking half the amount of time that I used to take. So, okay, pretty proud of that, pretty proud of that. <laughs> it usually takes me about an hour to apply the acrylic and get all the way through that process and then whatever it is that I'm doing after if it's like nail art or bling or 3d nail art then that could take me anywhere from you know 10 minutes to an hour so I want to say that the application process of the acrylic probably took me about an hour and then the nail art took another one so yeah I'm just applying the acrylic to all of her nails making sure that it has a nice little apex not too thick though since they are shorter nails they don't need a large apex because the shorter the nail the smaller the apex the longer the nail the bigger the apex the apex basically just is what kind of holds the nail together like if you jam it into a wall or a counter or something that's what keeps your nail from just snapping in half and breaking off so I'm applying my acrylic wiping the sides to make sure that I maintain the shape and 
sorry guys i'm out of breath i'm literally eight months pregnant right now <laughs> this baby is due november 14th i'm ready to have him so yes i'm a little bit out of breath <laughs> but as you can see with that clear layer it gives a nice foundation so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about here or what i was talking about here earlier when i said that and then i apply my bead and i kind of you know blend it up so that way there's no big bumps when i go in to apply my next bead and then i just wipe it along the sides to keep the shape since these technically don't have like you know i mean they don't have a flat tip it's just a pointed tip i just wipe along the sides into that point so that way it maintains that shape so when i go in at the very end i don't have a whole bunch of filing to do whatever can save me time is really what i try to do so I focus a lot on my application process, so that way when I go back in, I don't have to spend a whole lot of time filing to try and get it the shape that I want it to be. So I try not to make them too thick, and I also don't want them to be too thin, because then next thing I know, a nail is going to snap, and I'm going to be uh, so irritated. So... <laughs> Here I am cleaning up the sidewall, as you can see right there. I got it on it a little bit, and honestly, I used to love this brush. This acrylic brush used to be my favorite brush, but me and her been through some things, so she's kind of she's kind of run down a little bit. So actually, my birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks, and my man is getting me two new acrylic brushes, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, I lost the footage on the first finger and not sure what happened to that but here we are on the thumb and we're just doing the exact same process so I guess I'll let you guys watch me do the thumb and then I'll be back Alrighty, so now we're going back in with the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file. This is the same one that we used previously, so this is in 100 grit. I like this file. This is like, I love this file for shaping. It's the best one. I love the little plastic board it comes on. It just, it keeps its shape. It doesn't bend. I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to use this to crispen up my shape, but this is what I was talking about where I try to keep it as much 
with the shape of what it, whatever shape I do. I like to try and keep my application as much of that shape as I can. So when I go back into file, I don't have a whole bunch of filing to do. That way I can only spend, you know, maybe 20 minutes filing rather than two hours filing. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm doing the right side, then I do the left side, then if I have to, go back to the right side and the left side, but I keep going back and forth. I never really just stay on one side of the nail for too long because I don't want it to lean too far to one side than it does to the other. I like them to be straight, or at least as straight as I can possibly get them. So here we go, yes, they look cute. And then I make sure that I file underneath the nails as well. So if there's any acrylic under there, I got that up and I like them to be nice and flat on the bottom so that way they're not curving down. One thing I noticed about stiletto point nails is they have a tendency to kind of curve downward like a claw and that's cute and all but I prefer them to be straight out so you could stab somebody with them. <laughs> so now I'm dusting off the nails and then I'm going in with my Panna five-in-one carbide safety bit um i love this drill bit i don't know what took me so long to get this drill bit but i should have done it so long ago and i'm honestly probably gonna order me another one or ask my man if he can get me another one for my birthday like i love this drill bit i don't know why i waited but this this was one of the best decisions I ever made was purchasing this so if you guys are looking for a good five-in-one carbide bit I don't know what the other ones are like but this one by Panna is so good and I got it off of Amazon and I will link it down below along with basically everything else that I use in the video I'll make sure that I link that below too so with this safety bit what I love about it is how it gets all up in the cuticle area. You can get the acrylic nice and flush to the natural nail without having to worry about hurting your client because since it's a safety bit, it's not gonna nick them or cut them or anything. So you don't even have to worry about that. And then it just smooths the nail out so nicely, so quickly. I think I have my e-file on a speed of either six or eight. But I really think it's 6,000 RPMs. I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, I'm using this around the cuticle area and it really cleans up the nail so nicely. And I love that I can get real close to the cuticle without hurting my client. This is, that's what I mean. This is the best purchase out of all of my nail things. This is probably the best thing that I've ever purchased. This is what's made me the happiest so far. <laughs> But, um, so I go around the cuticle area, clean up the sides, and then I go along the length of the nail to really smooth it out. And this drill bit works so perfectly. I don't know, I really don't know why I waited so long to get it. I should have got it years ago, but here we are. <laughs> So I'm just going to shape the nail, make sure that it still has a nice little apex to it and that the cuticle area is all cleaned up. I've literally had no complaints when I use this drill bit. So far anyways. <laughs> and I always ask them, does this hurt? Like, is this hurting you? And they always say no, it doesn't hurt. You can literally rub it right on the skin and it does not hurt. So here you see me cleaning up the side and I can get way tucked up into the cuticle and the side walls with it. And I love that. Y'all look how nicely it cleans up that cuticle area and the side walls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just really love this drill bit. So if you guys, I mean, if you don't purchase anything else, like as an investment towards your nail career or your nail journey, make sure you get this. 
I promise you, you will not regret it. I promise. <laughs> Okay, so per each hand, I probably spend about seven to 10 minutes filing, which is not bad. Then I go in with my Beatles top coat, that's my favorite top coat, and I have her cure in the light for about one to two minutes. Then using the Savvy Land painting gels that I got off of Amazon, I'll link them below as well, I'm going to go in with my nail art. So the first things, that I do is just draw this kind of curved diagonal line across all of the nails but the middle finger because on the middle finger we're going to draw a heart so as you can see here if the polish on the brush is a little bit too thick then I'll just wipe it on my on my own fingernail because <laughs> since it's gel polish it's not going to dry on there I can just wipe it off and it's not gonna damage, you know, the design that I already have going. And then I can also kind of use it as like a paint palette, dip my brush back in it, and use the little bit of polish that's on my nail to finish drawing whatever design I'm putting onto the fingernail, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I'm sorry I'm out of focus a little bit here, but you guys get the gist of what I'm doing, I think. So then I do that to the pinky, the ring finger, the pointer finger, and the thumb, same process. And then on the other hand, I do it in the opposite direction. So I did all the lines going inwards, so towards the inside of the nail. Then on her middle finger, I'm just going to draw a little heart. And I didn't get the footage of me like drawing the little barbed wire um, designs onto the lines. But basically all I did was just draw some little crosses across the lines. And on each finger I did two crosses. And then on the thumb I did three crosses. And for the heart I just kind of scattered them here and there. And I brought where the two halves of the heart meet at the top i just brought that in a little bit further so that it kind of gives a barbed wire effect to it and as you can see here like i was saying <laughs> so now i'm going to go back in and just kind of thicken up the lines for the heart i don't think i did this for any of the other nails but i just go over the design that i had already placed on it because it just kind of you know makes it a little bit darker so it looks more bold and defined. Okay, so here, as you guys can see on her pinky nail, the design that I had done smudged uh, before she went into the light. I'm not sure how this happened she's not even sure how this happened and there wasn't even any polish on her other finger so I really don't know what happened here but as you can see I'm just going in with my Tammy Taylor peel and stick file and just removing the polish that was on there and then I'm going to go back in with my um, Savvy Land gel paint and just draw that little part of the barbed wire back on there so here you'll kind of get to see the process I just draw the line straight across like well in the diagonal like I had before and then you'll get to see the little crosses that I create after. So I decided to leave this part in the video just so that you guys can see that sometimes your design doesn't work out exactly how you want it to but you just got to go back in there and fix it up and it's still going to look cute you know. Just touch it up, fix it, take away whatever was messed up and add something new onto it and then you're good. So I'm almost done with this. 
just draw in the little cross now well not cross it's an x but i'm just drawing that and then i'm gonna have her put her nails back in the light then using my beetles top coat after that cures for about two minutes i'm using this and then I'm applying this to all of the nails on top of my nail art so that way I can make sure that it's nice and sealed in there and then I put her in the light again for two minutes specifically I like to make sure that I do the finish cure for two whole minutes and then once she's done with that I'm going to apply some cuticle oil to her cuticles and then this is the finished product guys I love how they came out. They're super cute. Perfect for the Halloween season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.